everybody, welcome to the Balloon Guys channel. I'm the Balloon Guy, also known as Zumalata. I am an entertainer here in Wisconsin. And today we are taking off of yesterday's balloon. And that was the baby octopus. If you want to learn how that was made, go back and look at yesterday's. But for now, we're going to take and we're going to put this on a wand. A really cool wand that I saw. Um, I'll show you the link on who I got it from in the description below if you want to know. All right, let's move on. We're gonna really take and embellish this balloon. So if somebody came up to me and said, hey, make me a mystery balloon, I usually like to make a really, really special balloon for them. And so, so we're gonna do that right now with this wand. I'm gonna blow up some balloons and uh, they're all gonna be kind of matching, kind of an underwater theme. Um, balloon and uh, matching colors um, just a fun fun balloon um, similar to the princess wand if you saw that Um, ba -doo, ba -doo. So we're gonna do, we're gonna twist these. Oh no, I want one more, one more. I almost forgot, we're gonna do one more dark balloon because we're gonna use our braid. We're gonna be braiding three balloons, three 260s. Like so, I'll take these, twist them together, take this, twist them together. All right, and I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna give a good, good braid on here. I say this every time when I was growing up learning how to do, do balloons in the 80s. Never thought I would be uh, Learning how to braid. All right. So there we go. So we have a nice, nice thing here, right? But we're gonna add one more. I was gonna do for accent, we're gonna do this green here, this lime green. And uh, you know what? There we go. I'm just going to take this and we're just going to. Weave it in and out. Of here. I'm going to take and wrap this down at the bottom. Kind of like seaweed. Look at that. Kind of like a little snake. Now. These are coming undone for some reason. Kind of weird. Sometimes when I do stuff like that, still don't know why it does that. But I got it fixed. So um, then here's a diamond clear balloon. And this will give us kind of a feel as if as if there's uh, water. I'm going to wrap the end in here, and we're just going to kind of go on the other side, and we're going to make bubbles. I 
And again, we're just being extravagant. Kids just love it when you do that. It's like their eyes just get wide. Bring that through here. Come up on this side. We're gonna keep doing bubbles. More bubbles. Sometimes they call these uh, string of pearls. And we're just gonna weave this in, sides weave this uh, braid. Kind of like one might do if they had a, a ribbon going through your, their hair. We're getting close to the end here. One more. And then I'm gonna go through here. This will be the last one. I think we're gonna stress out the balloon if we add any more. Coming down here, give it a twist so we can connect it in with all the others. There we go. What do you think? Look at that. So then this is just like a giant wand or carrying device. A home, if you will, for, for your baby squid. I'm going to take this, put it up on top here. And to do that, you can use anything. Um... I have this broken uh, here. It's just uh, um, unusable because the nozzle's bad. But while well, maybe not can't blow it up like a regular balloon, I can definitely get it all set up and use it in here. So I took one end and I wrapped it around here. So we have it sticking out like that, right? And then we're going to come up on here and we're going to just wrap it all in all those petals and just go walk it all the way around and then tuck it in on the inside. And there we go. Got a hair in the way. Let's get that off of there. And there we go, everybody. What do you think? We have a wand for our baby octopus. All right, everybody. This is the Balloon Guy. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next time. From my family to yours, have an amazing day. We'll see you soon, all right? Bye.